Discover Houston with some words for the burn and also Block 3. Ready to copy. Uh, first of all, if you could, uh, as you're working through Block 3, just hold off on the uh, handheld microphone until after the burn, just to make sure our uh, comm is good for the burn. Second issue, uh, during ascent, we saw the left ohms secondary uh, gimbal. It looks like a power fail. So we're going to treat the left ohm secondaries as failed. So if you have uh, a primary failure or uh, the main A or FF1 or FA1, anything that takes down the primary gimbal, we'll treat that as a second uh, gimbal failure on the left. Okay, copy that. And uh, if you're ready, we're going to maneuver. We're ready for the maneuver. This is Mission Control Houston. That call from spacecraft communicator Terry Verts to Commander Mark Kelly on board Discovery. There was an indication uh, from the booster officer during uh, Discovery's climb to orbit that a, a secondary uh, set of electronics that uh, operates the gimbling function or the swiveling function for the left orbital maneuvering system engine uh, failed. However, the primary system of electronics remains uh, up and running and in good shape. No impact, no impact to any operations as we stand by uh, for the firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines just 10 minutes from now. In the meantime, a Discovery is currently maneuvering to the burn attitude. This will be a firing of both orbital maneuvering system engines, a rather long burn of 2 minutes and 44 seconds in duration. Coming up on uh, the 30-minute mark into the flight of Discovery as we continue to watch launch replays from the Kennedy Space Center. Again, uh, Discovery in good shape uh, with the exception of a minor issue with uh, a secondary uh, left orbital maneuvering system gimbal electrical uh, circuit uh, that uh, was detected uh, to have a problem uh, during Discovery's climb to orbit. This has no impact on any operations as we stand by for the firing of those orbital maneuvering system engines seven and a half minutes from now. There are two electrical paths uh, to provide the swiveling or gimbling capability for those orbital maneuvering system engines so they can be positioned properly uh, when they fire for major maneuvers uh, during any shuttle flight into space. The uh, primary uh, gimbal electrical system for the left orbital maneuvering system engine continues to be in good shape with no issues.
Continuing to watch launch replays from the Kennedy Space Center as we approach the five-minute mark uh, to the firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines. Again, this will be a uh, rather long burn of two minutes and 44 seconds because of the short phasing angle, the orbital mechanics uh, that the flight dynamics officer interpolates for, for the flight control team here in mission control. This uh, burn will uh, further uh, circularize Discovery's orbit and refine its path to the International Space Station, one of several maneuvers uh, that will place uh, Discovery on its course uh, for a docking to the station just before 1 p.m. Central Time on Monday. The propulsion officer here in Mission Control reports uh, a good helium configuration for the orbital maneuvering system engines as we approach uh, the three and a half minute mark to the firing of both Ohm's engines, the large engines that uh, flank the vertical tail fin at the rear of the orbiter used for major maneuvers in orbit by the shuttle.